Hey everyone, this is Shipra and in this review, I'd be explaining my analysis of Zenfone 2 Deluxe. Now, uh, don't get confused, it's just same as the Zenfone 2 but with more style and slightly different specs. Even the model number remains the same that is ZE551 which is the 4GB RAM variant of Zenfone 2. So, here we have got 64GB uh, variant to review. So, uh, let's start by checking in the box content first. The box is typical ASUS style one, like those in which ASUS packs almost its every Zenfone model. Major specs are clearly mentioned on the box. So, inside the box, I have uh, got this polygon white color Zenfone 2 Deluxe. The phone also comes in three more color options, blue, purple and red. Then uh, there is a micro USB cable and a USB power adapter. Now a USB power adapter gives an output of 2 ampere, so yes, it supports fast charging. Now let's have a detailed look at the build and design of the phone. It looks identical to Zenfone 2 from the front. It is also thick in the middle and starts becoming curvy and slimmer as you move towards the corner. The power key placed on the top with 3.5mm audio jack and a secondary mic while a micro USB 2.0 port and the primary mic is located at the bottom. Top bezel has 5 megapixel secondary camera which is uh, joined by earpiece and LED notification light whereas the capacitive touch buttons are located right below the display on the face of the phone. Asus has kept the right and left side of the phone clean as the volume rockers have been shifted to the back right below the dual LED flash and 13 megapixel primary camera. Asus branding is at the middle and speaker grille is at the bottom of the back. What makes it different from the Zenfone 2 is the back panel that has diamond shaped texture. The chameleon like coating makes it shine and sparkles when you see it from different perspectives. That is quite attractive. Now the back panel is removable, though a bit tough to remove. I almost broke my already shortened nail. Well, underneath, you will see the dual micro SIM slots along with a micro SD card slot. Now, if you look carefully, it is clearly mentioned SIM1 supports 4G LTE, while the second one remains limited to 2G. So don't forget to put your 4G data SIM in slot 1. The phone is 170 gram heavy and 10.9 mm thick. The body is plastic but that looks different and classy. Also the back is smudge free. I won't say idle for one handed operation as it is bit bulky and slippery at the back and then the huge form factor also adds to the same. The phone has 5.5 inch 1080p Full HD IPS display that is well protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 with anti fingerprint coating and supports glove touch 2. Also, the color reproduction is up to the mark. It comes with different screen color mode so you can manage screen temperature, colors and saturation levels. The display is bit reflective. To operate it under sunlight, you will have to maximize the brightness. Viewing angles were uh, pretty good. You can clearly see the text and icons from all possible angles. Minimized bezel makes 72% screen to body ratio. Navigation buttons don't light up. So, you might face a problem while operating in the dark. The powerhouse of Deluxe is an Intel Atom 64-bit 2.3 GHz quad-core processor which is backed up by PowerVR G6430 GPU. The performance was smooth and lag-free, beat multitasking, prolonged usage, watching movies or listening music. I experienced very smooth and lag-free gameplay. It can play 4K videos without getting hot. I didn't observe any single moment when I felt it to keep it aside to cool down. Overall, hardware didn't disappoint me at all. You get 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage, out of which around 2.4 GB and 54 GB is available to use on the first boot. You also get 5 GB lifetime free ASUS web storage. Just register yourself while setting up the device. And yes, OTG drives are supported as well. Well, it runs on Android 5.0 with Zen UI 2.0 on top of it. The UI is very responsive and quite smooth. 
You can quickly access settings from the notification area. You can also choose one-handed operation mode. Doesn't matter whether you are lefty or using the right hand. You can always adjust screen according to the side of hands. Blue light filter suits the experience of low light or night browsing of the phone. It does support touch gesture, motion gesture and glove mode like we have seen in other Zenfone series phones as well. Asus has also made lots of bloatware apps and those are littered all over the home screen. These apps come pre-installed on every Zenfone but you never get to use most of those apps. I could only use Clean Master and Themes frequently and rest of them were just useless bloatware for me and it completely ruins the user experience as well. A great phone let down by bloatware I would say. The phone's 13 megapixel master camera comes with f2.2 aperture lens and dual LED flash and it captures great pictures with an appropriate amount of colors, contrast and depth of field. The camera has autofocus, touch focus, face detection, panorama and HDR mode. It can record 1080p videos at 30 fps. Focusing is relatively slower. You can adjust shot's brightness by pressing long on the screen. The 5 megapixel front shooter takes widescreen selfies being the 85 degree wide angle lens. The camera managed to click few great captures during daylight and has good modes to play around. Images have sufficient color reproduction and details and certainly don't lose details even after zooming out. But pictures taken in low light or uh, I would say in dark was quite noisy. Even LED couldn't help much. Overall, the camera performance is above average and can be considered positively. Speaker at the back doesn't give great output as expected. Positioning makes it even worse. However, you can change to different modes to achieve preferred sound effect through Audio Wizard from Asus. The smartphone has a 3000 mAh battery with fast charge support. So I was able to charge up device 10% to 100% in less than 2 hours and I was able to get 10 to 11 hours juice easily which can go up to more than 14 hours on moderate usage. It also has few power saving modes such as power saving, super saving and customized. You can also preset a cap whereby reaching to a set battery percentage will activate super saving mode automatically. Connectivity front features standard Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, Wi-Fi Hotspot and ODG support. It is a dual SIM device that takes in micro SIM and supports 4G LTE connectivity to only SIM 1, while second one remains limited to 2G only. Overall, I pretty much like the device. It is premium handset from Asus that comes with great specs such as 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, 3100 mAh huge battery, above average camera and a lag free performance. It looks great and feels great too. So I can say um, Zenfone 2 Deluxe is majorly an update only in looks. The price hasn't changed either. The 64GB variant is available at 2299 INR, a complete package that doesn't burn a hole in your pocket. Absolutely recommended from my end. Whereas the 128GB variant is available at 29,999 INR, spending 7K just for a storage expansion would be a hefty move in my understanding. But again, internal storage is always better than having expanded memory through a microSD card. Thanks for watching this video guys, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos like this. Till then have a great time.